Good morning guys. I am currently having a clear out um, of my room to make some extra space and I'm having a bit of a deep emotional moment really. So I've just been, if I show you. So here is some of the mess. This is all going in the bin. So it's a lot of my courses that I've done and everything here. It's all going in the bin. I used to draw a lot. There's not much in there. That's actually an empty book. Look at the state of my room. Here is a doll that is actually was meant to be worth money. And I tore the top of it when I was about five years old. I got it from America. And it's worth 20 quid currently. So it's not worth a lot. Uh, yeah. So, so far. What's got going to be into? So far, what I've sorted through, I've found all my oh, courses, which is, I did Premier Training for my personal training course. My sports massage course and my gym instructor. I have just got up <laughs> and just decided to start this because I need room for all those jumpers you see out there. They've got to go somewhere, so yeah. And so I found all my courses, all my coursework, and what I was saying just then about the deep kind of emotional. You kind of in today with social media, how it is, um, everybody making out their life is something it's not all the time. It makes you kind of feel a little bit. I suppose you kind of start to think about everything you haven't got, everything you haven't achieved, rather than remembering everything you have achieved and you have got up to this point. Instead of looking at everybody on social media, you're chasing this kind of fantasy world that is perceived on social media and you forget real life kind of thing. Social media is not real life. It's For me, it's a chance to promote myself, for my career, my business, and just generally a chance to up my profile and have my name a little bit more well known for what I've achieved and what I've done. Sorry, I'm still getting over a little bit of congestion from the chest infection. Um, but yeah, that's the whole reason I started to promote myself on social media so much. Because if I generally had a career that wasn't in the industry, in fitness, in personal training, I probably wouldn't use social media as much. I'd probably use Facebook for family and friends and that would be it. Um, however, I do find social media in general is great for promoting yourself, your work and those things. However, as I said before, it can allow you to get in this mindset of worrying so much about what you haven't achieved and what you haven't got so far. So, I haven't clear out today and just looking through like so this is this is my, my diary back in 2012 that I've kept I'm such a hoarder by the way when it comes to um, things as you can see but I was just looking back at how I used to track every single workout and everything I ate and I did that for a year straight it's crazy yeah just how focused I've, I've been at times um, I'm still very focused of course but I just yeah you just look back and you look at all the little things and how hard you work mentally uh, and yeah it's kind of it's cool so these are the sort of things I like to keep and as well as here so I went to era school which yeah I didn't find it too bad but yeah and this is all my achievements so food tech I got a C 
English. I wasn't great English. I actually got a D in that, but I've I've been working really hard on um, English literature and everything since I've left school. And physical education, of course, I got an A star. And business, I got a double C, which was really cool because that was a double grade. So yeah, I did pretty cool in the two subjects that I'm currently using. And food tech as well, I did pretty well in. And that's something I am also very interested in. I love cooking. So yeah, these are all my certificates. My work experience. This is like a lot of certificates from my GCSEs, all in one go. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's pretty... I've kind of kept everything. I'm just looking through it, it's pretty cool. As well as my achievements when I left school. So I'm a reps personal trainer. I did my customer service course, which I've got... A, what's this one? Fitness. I did my lifeguard. Yeah, my customer service. I think it's a BTEC customer service. So yeah. So yeah, it's all my certificates there. So there's another oh Powerpuff Girls. I was a massive fan of Powerpuff Girls as up to about year six, I think. Yep, and I was Bubbles. <laughs> I loved Buttercup's attitude though, to be fair. Right. Such a geek. So here, I also used to keep a diary. This is what I used to do gymnastics. Of all the stuff I did on tumble, bars, vault, those kind of things. And I'd give myself a sticker every time I achieve something. Yeah. So, I've always kind of praised myself, if that makes sense which is a good way to be and I designed this which is pretty cool and that's something one of my friends made me um, yeah she was one of my best mates for many years and I still have this which is pretty cool anyway T-shirts from when I left school, where everyone signed it. So this was my the back of mine. How cool is that? Yeah, I drew that. So cool. Some of the comments are pretty funny. So it all says good luck. Even my primary school one. A little tinier. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Suited you. Yeah. So I got my primary school, my secondary school. And what are these? Oh, that's when we designed t shirts for this rave thing when I was just started clubbing. I'm not quite sure what this is. Oh, this is when I used to athletics and I worked at the, um, we worked at one of like a pro athlete competition and we got the athletes to sign, I got some of the athletes to sign my top, so who's on here, I can't even read the writing to be fair, but that was a really cool experience. When I left school, in primary school, these are just photos from primary school. Oh my God, look, Danielle, I still talk to her now. So strange how quickly you can grow up. Madness. Yeah.
reports, all my athletic stuff, so like little accomplishments I made when I was at athletics. This is. Maybe I was in the paper, who knows? Yeah. So that was me there. For Bexy Athletics in the paper. Which is pretty cool. And lots of certificates as well. Oh, messages when I left school. These are quite funny because... So, like, a lot of people put this. Good luck, Sadie, with everything. We are obviously still going to see each other. <coughs> I don't, unfortunately, now, but still... We're obviously still going to see each other. You can be my trainer, laugh out loud. We'll see you soon when I'm famous. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, people knew I was going to be a trainer at this time of my... Yeah. I still do this face to this day. Focus. Focus on that. This is a face I still do to this day. So there's a little time capsule right there. Oh god, it's unbelievable. I think that's when I've run the mini marathon. It's crazy. I'm so glad I kept everything, to be honest. Because it's something that you'll never get tired of looking at. Ever. Growth. Change is what life is all about. Okay, you're going to laugh. I actually wanted to be a dress designer, I think when I was about... 12 or 11, something like that. But, oh, get me dirty on my bed. Here's some dresses that I designed. So, the dresses, and I've written down the materials, the colours, the kind of um, accessories I'm going to use. The, yes, oh my god, it's hilarious. So if any of you want a wedding dress, you know where I am, I can draw you one. <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah, and some more, look. A whole book full of them. I've just found this, Get Into The British 2013, May, Jan to May. So this is when I was prepping and I'll have you know, I did actually get to the British this year. And it says five weeks bikini, no treats, no. Does it say no treats, no treats? You can do this, man up, suck it up. You choose to compete, stop whining. Oh god, this is how I motivate myself. It's hilarious. And again, some paintings that I did. It's quite cool. I like that one. Clearly, you just used to have a really random imagination. <laughs> kind of pictures that I used to draw. And again, here they are, look, the Powerpuff Girls. I was bloody obsessed with them. SpongeBob, Powerpuff Girls. Family pictures. That's me when I was a bubba. As always, posing away there. My nan and granddad. It's actually a born poser, this. I'm like, what? Five? And I'm posing. 
and I'm pretty sure no one told me to do that. <laughs> and this is what I progressed to. They got better. They got a bit better. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's hilarious. My trophy covered. This little insight into my past and everything I've achieved up to this point. So yeah, lots more to come. But I'm gonna finish this vlog on don't get so caught up in what you haven't done and what you haven't achieved yet and what others are doing. Just look back and think what you've achieved so far and how is that gonna help you going forwards and what is your next step within your life and what is it you want to do going forwards set goals set micro goals in order to get there and you will time patience perseverance see you later